I'm here with author Elizabeth Laird. What first provoked your interest in stories from around the world? Well, I've been very privileged to live in different parts of the world. Um, I lived for two years in Ethiopia and I've travelled all over that country collecting folk stories from storytellers in the deserts, the jungles, you, you name it, you know, big journeys. And I've lived in Iraq and I lived in Lebanon during the Civil War um, and I've worked in Palestine and India and Pakistan um, and in everywhere I've gone I've found myself enchanted by the stories and the culture. What effect do you think that's had on your writing? Oh completely, totally. If I hadn't spent years living in Ethiopia and Middle East, Iraq and Lebanon um, and where else, all over the place, I don't think I would have ever been a writer. They've been completely crucial to, to, to everything I've done. What do you think we can do to improve the inclusion of BA and the characters in children's books? Well, I think this is a really difficult question. There are no easy fixes. And I think one, one of the, the, the important things is that children of BME um, backgrounds at schools are given the confidence to feel that they can write their own stories and illustrate in the way they want to. That's a long, long process and we won't see the results for 10, 20, 15 years. But I think that's where we've got to start, in schools, giving children from those backgrounds as many books as we can that have the only characters, so they see themselves in those books. And there are some around. Letterbox Library, for example, will tell you which books there are. What advice do you have for children who'd like to write their own stories? I've got three pieces of advice. Mm -hmm. Read everything you can read. Write, just practice writing. And then the third piece of advice is, is live, do things, go out, meet people, have experiences, be safe, but do stuff that's not online. You're never going to learn to write by sitting in front of a computer playing games or watching films. You've got to actually have real life experiences and then you have something to write about. What advice would you have for parents trying to choose great books for their children? I think this is difficult because shops, uh, big bookshops and Amazon will only push the bestsellers. And some of them are very, very good and some of them are not very, very good. So you should really go to these websites like um, Letterbox Library, the Federation for Children's Book Groups. There are lots of bloggers, Love Reading for Kids and other very good bloggers who actually will point out, to read everything and, and pick up books and say, well, this is worth reading, this one is a good book. And then there's a magazine, Carousel. And also, if you go to a good independent children's bookshop, they will give you lots of advice and steer you towards exactly the right book for your child. Fantastic, thank you.